oh, all right start again <laughs> i'm so sorry that is totally my fault i am the worst doctor who fan on the planet this is really well this is showing us up now <laughs> because it's an eccleston story you think it empty child <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now if you don't know me, hello and welcome. My name is Shah. Also Geek Rambles. I love to talk about all sorts of Doctor Who and have a bit of a chat with you guys in the uh, in the process. So what I'm doing today is a little, something a little bit different and I'm going to be doing this as not part of my Sunday videos but this is actually going to be hopefully midweek. That's where that's what I'm going to plan anyway. Now, if you don't know what sort of thing I've done in the past, or if you don't know what sort of things I'm involved in, then I am a member, regular member, of the Type 40 podcast, where we talk about all things Doctor Who, past, present and future, basically. And we all get together, we're all really good friends, so I thought what would be a really good idea is if I did something different. But I thought what I'd do is bring in my lovely, who I affectionately call my type 40 sister so i'm going to bring her on and now before we do any of that i would love it if you could click that lovely little subscribe button for me time of recording i'm on 784 subscribers so it would be great to get that up i'm trying to reach that magic 1000 so if you can do that for me that would be wonderful so the premise of today is to have a little bit of a game that i want to play i think in terms of celebrating the fact that the toy maker's coming back, I thought it would just be a really fun idea. But this isn't just going to be me and Sarah playing. I want you guys to get involved too. It's something that we can all get involved in. So as always, go grab your cup of tea, coffee, or whatever your drink of choice. As always, me and Sarah, we like to be a little bit different with our drink of choice. And um, well, you'll see that for yourself, but let's do it. So this is either going to be the worst idea or the best idea we have ever had. Okay. Well, it's going to be I, a laugh I, I, either way. So. It's going to be a laugh either way. Yes. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's yes. what I like <laughs> So, Sarah, <laughs> how have you been? How, how are things? Hi, Shaw. I, I'm very well, thank you. Yes, it's, uh, it's nice. all happening here, counting down to the 16th anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah are you, ex are you excited i know some people aren't as excited as perhaps you and i but how are you sort of feeling about that I, I am um when i first watched the trailer i was kind of so so about it but i think that was more me and my expectations of it mm -hmm. um but is it because you is it because you want the air dates <laughs> yeah it is and uh, yeah. yeah um and and i wanted to see bernard in the trailers did you yeah and uh i mean there's nothing wrong with the trailer it looks absolutely fine but yeah i just wanted more i'm just uh i'm just a greedy doc two fan <laughs> yeah but, but watching it with are, in all fairness but watching it with other people i mean i showed it my nephews who are older mm. now but we used to watch it all together the tenant and era and seeing them getting excited and seeing my boys get excited about it so i am it is rubbing off on me a bit now, yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm starting to feel it a bit more. You're starting to feel it. And when did you get uh, into Doctor Who? When, when did you become part of the uh, part of the Geek Squad with it, uh, when it comes to Doctor Who? I, when it came back, the revival in 2005, yeah. yeah. Did you know about it before? Because I didn't know anything about Doctor Who before it actually came back. A little, a little bit, because uh, my parents had mm. watched it, and I can remember watching ah. the TV movie when I was 12 years old and it being a big deal but I didn't really understand why it was a, why it was a big deal um, but yeah it yeah. was a uh, so yes I was already an adult so I was the same age as Rose Tyler when it when it came on oh. so I could identify with with it and you know being fed up and wanting to go on an adventure but unfortunately I've never experienced it as a kid whereas you have so I'm so envious <laughs> View. yeah oh really that's yeah, yeah I, I, I guess because I, I get envious that there's people out there that have been able to experience all the classic yeah. I mean oh yeah it's yeah. okay because I don't mind you know if, if I could stay the same age that'd be fine yeah, um, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I, I see I see what you mean though because there is like a kiddie magical element but I think everyone can have that I think everyone yeah. gets gets to gets to experience that no matter what age yeah. you are so oh, I remember being good. on placement at a primary school 
when mm. uh, and it was the Monday after the empty child had aired and there were kids oh. in the playground running around going are oh, you my mummy and chasing each other so that was wonderful to see I, I remember uh, that though uh, I mean I wasn't that I wasn't that young I was I was 10 or 11 so yeah. I wasn't at that point but people would talk about it and be like mm-hmm. did you see it like, it was really scary and I was like yeah, yeah I was really scared too but I loved that as a kid I loved being yeah. scared and uh yeah. Oh, I love that those kids still. Do. Oh, I don't know if kids still do that. But then again, it's been a long time since I've been. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not a mother. I'm not at a school, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. But I'd love to know that, that was a thing still, and then it was still, you know, still prevalent with there with young. Ends. I hope so. I hope so. So I've already told or said what we're going to be doing mm-hmm. briefly, but I want to sort of see how you're feeling. So the idea is that what we're going to do is. We're gonna. We've got a little spinner. I I do mm. believe you received yours. I with, have indeed received my spinner. On. It is right here. You the, have the, the Shah Good original, it, as we've christened it. The Shah <laughs> original. It's a Geek Rumble's exclusive spinner <laughs> <laughs> um, that anyone can find, and you <laughs> can. Um, <laughs> What I've done is I've put all the doctors on there from New Who. We're going to focus on that if that's all right with you. That, that yeah, and that's fine. Are going good um the idea otherwise we'll be here for days (laughs) years oh (laughs) for all of you watching we've actually been here for about three weeks already um (laughs) what we're gonna do is we're gonna spin and it's got all the new doctors on there and your task and my task actually and everyone watching your task is i want you to think of an episode from that doctor that your spin has landed on and come up with the most obscure and I mean obscure. If you can make the obscure, the better, because I feel mm. like that would just be a laugh. The obscure description and try and keep it under 10 words. I don't mind if you go over or under a little bit. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Okay, good. Scared. I feel like all day. <laughs> don't be scared. Don't be scared. We'll do what we'll do is we'll start off. Is we'll do we'll get we'll try and get through all of them. Every doctor, okay. not every episode, but every no, doctor. No. <laughs> and uh, we'll do. We'll see how many rounds we go because if anyone okay. else noticed this little thing that's been creeping up, um, yeah. while I've been talking to you, Sarah and yeah. I don't. Yours do has things... been creeping up. Mine's going down while we've been. Getting Yours is going up. down. Okay, <laughs> get another one. <laughs> get get uh, get Mr. Starry Eyed to uh, to get you another one. So we don't do things sober, um, or at no. least we like to have a little tip. Well, while we we, do we it. came up with this idea. Uh, a drunk, yeah. <laughs> I was just gonna go with Mary, Mary, but yeah, oh, were, yeah, that's we were actually no, drunk. We, no, I, we weren't, we weren't too drunk, were we? Was it that when we were in you came down to London, right? And it we was, yes, sat outside. Okay, perfect. So, grab your drink of choice as well, mm-hmm. and we'll go for it. So, Sarah, seeing as you are the guest, yeah, you're Cheers, gonna start. Everybody. Cheers, I'm nervous now. Okay, it is. David Tennant. Oh, okay, perfect. So, either you get the choice because you're the one that span. You can either ask me to give the obscure description, or you can do it. It's your choice. Whoever spins gets to choose. Okay. All right, I'm going to let you do it. <laughs> oh, okay. Putting the pressure on. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Maybe just a quick one more quick sip. Yeah. How many have I got to go through? Of course, you landed on ten with the yeah, most episodes the most. out of all of them. All right, so bunch of zombie-like people are wandering around, and if you get touched by this zombie-like thing, then you will become the same. Oh, okay, zombies. Oh, oh, what is of Mars? No, <gasps> no. 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 Oh, you lose. oh. <laughs> that's it. Video over. No, go on. You get you get another go. It's the first another go. You get another go. You get three goes. No F. If you get touched by a zombie-like creature. <gasps> no, but no. Oh, fair enough for thinking like that. Oh no, what if I don't get this now and this is supposed to be easy? Then you got a drink. <laughs> okay, zombie uncan zombie-like creatures. It's a zombie-like creature that walks around, and if you get touched by it, you become that creature. The ten words thing we're going. I feel like we're going to lose that already. <laughs> so know, it's fine. Go, I've got to go through. Okay. <gasps> oh, all right. Start again. 
I am so sorry. That is totally my fault. I am the worst Doctor Who fan on the planet. I'm actually really embarrassed. This is really... Well, this is showing us up now. So I'm sacked because it's an Eccleston story. You think it? Empty child. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I'll just say it again. So we just, I'll say... We're going to stop. Say... Just go to bed. I'm going to go to bed. Good night. It's a great time. Oh, I don't so excited. Oh, I need to start again. Oh, right. Three, spin. two, one, spin. Oh, my God. <laughs> what have you landed uh, on? Whittaker. Have you? Pink. Oh, okay. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll describe then and you'll guess. Okay. Okay. Okay, fine. Okay, no pressure on me. Right. Um, Not whatsoever. <laughs> An elderly couple go on holiday and meet a fox. <laughs> Thank God you're not writing the descriptions for actual Doctor Who episodes. <laughs> is it, and this is actually isn't one that I've watched, but it's purely because of clips I've seen. Okay. Is it Orphan 55? It is Orphan 55. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, well, you drink then, because I won. I've got a drink, okay. <laughs> have you got, have you got oh, your drink? Oh, is this how you it works? Up. I'm going to have to this top up for a... Yeah, sounds good to me. I'm drinking even if I'm not. Mm. <gasps> oh, Sarah. Oh. I've got Smith. Oh, okay, okay. So, I'm going to... I'll describe it to you this time. I feel like that's the, the fairest way okay. of doing it. Okay. Obscure, isn't it difficult? Mm. Let's go for it. Okay, so there's a lot to choose from. There is. And you know your Smith as well, so I feel like you'll get this in one go. No, don't say that because now I would. <laughs> okay. The Doctor and Clara travel to a distant place in the UK where loads of people turn red. Oh, oh, is it the Crimson Horror? It is. is yeah. It is. One all. One distant? All. You're saying Yorkshire's distant? How dare you? It's, your, uh, it's distant for me. I'm in London. Well, it's not okay. distant for you. Yeah. That's down the road, isn't it? It's down the A4. <laughs> I love that episode because he talks about Yorkshire puddings and it always makes me laugh. There's loads of stuff with Yorkshire. Mm. Like, Leicester never gets mentioned, does it? Yeah. <laughs> does Leicester ever get mentioned in, uh, in Doctor Day? Although London gets mentioned all the time. I mean, I guess I, I live there, so it's fine. All right, Sarah, you are up to spin at the wheel. Okay. <gasps> Eccleston. What have you got? Eccleston. <laughs> so hard. What are you laughing at? What are you laughing at? Me, just uh, <laughs> going for one more. Okay. Uh, the Doctor and Rose um, encounter some very strange news readers. News readers? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that's good. <laughs> news readers? Mm -hmm. Doctor and Rose encounter some strange news readers. Is it the long game? It is, you. Yeah. Well done. Is it? That was such a good one. Oh, that was wicked, man. I like, yeah, I really like that. Oh. Good. Nice one. The long game. News readers. I would, yeah. Wonder who else got that. That was that was I really think good. I, I, I think like I need one. more prosecco. I must be on a. <laughs> All right, you you go get some more prosecco. Yeah. <laughs> And I made earlier gin. <laughs> gin? Got a little bar. Got a little, I, bar, yeah, on got that a little bar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Love this. This Prosecco is strong, man. Right, my go. I've got Tenant. Wow. Oh, the one with the okay. most. The one with the most. This is going to be really hard. Oh. Although, better ones to choose from, I think, in my yeah. humble opinion. Yeah. All right. 
back in the day, many, many years ago, before you and I were even a twinkle in our great grandmother's eye, the doctor meets a supernatural being. Not extraterrestrial, supernatural. No, supernatural. Is it the Shakespeare card? No. <gasps> but good one. Is it Tooth and Claw? It's Tooth and Claw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, good one. I like that. Oh. All right, it's your turn to spin. Let's go. I've got ten in as well. Oh, have you? Okay. Yeah. Again, you get to either ask me to describe or you can describe. Oh, should have done money. Forget a grand. Yeah, we should do. <laughs> well, have you got a grand? I no, uh, but I will win. I will. I will if I win. <laughs> Okay, in this episode, right? Okay, the doctor meets something with six legs and something, something with four legs and somebody. <laughs> this is gonna work. In this okay, episode, okay. the doctor meet something with six legs and wings something with four legs and a person who's famous for disappearing and that, that is way more than ten words so I hope I'm not disqualified doesn't matter, doesn't matter. we're completely getting rid of that something with six legs and wings Say something with four legs. Or don't make that up. <laughs> so it's something with six legs and wings, something yeah. with four legs. Yeah. And someone who's famous at disappearing. Wait, do they have six legs? <gasps> and four legs. I've got it. I've got it. Unicorn the wasp. It is, yes. Well Yay! done. <laughs> That was a bit. That, that was, was a, a bit. That was a bit of a cheat, though, because she hasn't actually got four legs. But uh... no, the unicorn has. Yeah. It wasn't a real. Is that unicorn. what it was? Yeah. Well, no. I... Well, no. I know that Agatha Christie doesn't have four legs. Well, at least I hope she doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> she might do by the time you've had a few. <laughs> this is a great idea. Did you hear my, my Alexa go off then? For some reason, <laughs> she just said, <laughs> I cannot find go that on. one. <laughs> she wants He's to play the game as well. As well. We didn't... Yeah. We didn't even know about it. We didn't even know about it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, right. So whose turn is it? I can't even remember. Your that. turn, dear. Your turn. <laughs> it's my turn. Okay, <laughs> perfect. I've got Capaldi. Oh, oh, we've not had Capaldi yet. Interesting. No, and I'm not I'm not as well versed with Capaldi as I am with other ones. Okay. What I'm actually loving is that as I'm editing this, I'm just gonna think it's just gone like that. <laughs> <laughs> with the glass. Um mm. but Capaldi's are really obscure because they're Moffat, so mm. this might make it a bit better, but I'm trying to run through the ones that I know. Mm -hmm. I have watched them all. Mm -hmm. I just don't I've not rewatched as many as the other ones. Um let's have a think. The Doctor arrives somewhere in the distant future mm -hmm. and they have to, to survive, they have to be in a certain mood. I think I know this. Is it Smile? Oh, you're so good at this, yes. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. I thought it, it was the emoji. mood. It was yeah. the mood. But yeah. It was the mood. Yeah, no. Mm. See, if that was a 10th episode, would have been all right, wouldn't we? Because mm. we could have been two. Yeah. <laughs> right. Your go, Sarah. My go. Your go, Miss. Mrs. Starry Eyed. Off you go. Okay, dokie. So, what did you land on? So, this time I've landed on Eccleston. Woohoo! Eccleston, oh, okie dokie. So are you describing or am I describing? Well, I did the last one, so I'm going <laughs> to give you the opportunity, Sha. You're going to leave one. that to me? Okay, I am. perfect. Well, 
just for people that are viewing, we are actually about an hour and a half in. <laughs> so apologies in advance for any slurring from this point on. Huh? Okay, Eccleston. Eccleston's, it's weird, isn't it? Because like, it's almost like whatever you get, if they've got shorter episodes or less mm-hmm. a, a less amount of episodes, it's kind of harder but easier really? in the same way. Right, let's have a let's have a think. <laughs> that, was a, that was a very that was a very long gulp. <laughs> I need it. I need, need it, it to get Reef- me through. <laughs> Reef, you're charming. <laughs> okay. The Doctor and Rose mm-hmm. have an adventure where they meet someone, but no one knows who they are. The Doctor and Rose go on an adventure, mm-hmm. but nobody nobody knows who they are. No, they meet somebody mm. in particular, but no one knows who they are. Nobody knows who this person is no nobody knows what the doctor and rose is oh no no but no the person they meet no one knows who they are okay is it dalek no this was stupidly obscure sarah so if you don't get it i'm not even gonna you get three get you get three no you get you get no you get three What's what I'm looking for? You get three clues. Okay. I'll give you three clues instead right. of three guesses. Okay. Is the person Captain Jack? No. <laughs> Damn it. You can't just go through every character, Sarah. That's how it works. <laughs> you can, you can do what you want. <laughs> oh, God, I've only got one guess left. No, 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 you've got two. I've got two. Wait, you've got one guess, but you've got two clues left. Use your clues, because I've been okay. really, really mean with this one. You are. You're a meanie. Okay. Another clue, please. It's someone that we do end up meeting again. And, and this is the same clue, it's part of their story. It's part of the joke. Oh. Is it... Aliens of London. And? Harriet Jones. <laughs> second part of the second part yeah, of the World War Three. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Ooh, it is, yeah. That was I was See, really mean with I, that. I thought you was going for Captain Jack because he with his memories being wiped and everything. That's <gasps> where I thought you were going. Oh my god, that's a good one though. I like that. Yeah. It's wrong, but it's a good one. <laughs> that's good, but yeah, that's where <laughs> totally that's wrong. That's where my thought was going. Now, well done. That was really good. Uh, thank you. Right, oh, is it my turn to spin? I think it is. It is. Okay. All right. We've reversed this. <laughs> I know. Ah, <laughs> tenant. Woo. Hmm. I'm going to let you describe one. Oh, yeah. I thought you would. Mm. Oh, this glass is getting lower than lower. Is there any way you can sort of pass another drink through the screen? I don't know. I think so. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. The doctor travels to the future. Mm-hmm. And gets a little bit warm. So <laughs> why is that funny? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's the best. I think I've got. I know this. I you think know I this one though. <laughs> yeah. Gets a little bit warm. If I get this wrong, I'll be furious. Is it 42? It is 42. <laughs> well <Boom>. done. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, I need to up my game, don't I? 
You do? No, because you've come up with some really good ones. Um, Is it your go? It's my turn to spin yours. Go on then. Go on okay, then. here we go. Oh, it's Whittaker. What are you going to do? You've not done a Whittaker yet, have you? I have not done a Whittaker. Okay, you can do it then. <laughs> Oh, God. Have you only watched Series 11 or have you watched Series 12 as well? I watched Series 12 and a couple of the specials. Okay. Okay, so the Doctor and her companions travel back and forth between past and present and end up meeting someone that turns out to be someone the doctor has known before. Right. So mm-hmm. would that person be the master? The master? The master. You're a bit northern are you, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> the master. The master. The master. Is it, is it spyfall? It is spyfall. Is it really? Wow. I thought I was really obscure <laughs> with that. So it's your turn to spin. No, I spun. No, it's not. It's not. It's mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I've got Capaldi. Oh. Okay. Capaldi. Let's have a, let's have a thing. I think you're going to get okay. this, but this is the one that I can think of. Okay. The Doctor ends up trapped in a world or dimension or realm unlike any other and no that's good no i'm gonna yeah the doctor is trapped in a world or dimension or realm like any other that's got to be heaven sent (gasps) oh Hey, that was yeah. good. Yeah, <laughs> I love that episode. That's my favorite. It's my Capaldi favorite. One. It is my oh. favorite Capaldi one. <laughs> Actually, I've got Smith. And I'm Hilarious. Hold I'm holding it up to prove that I've got proof. Smith. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So then. who's describing? Mm-mm. Oh, okay. You. Okay. It's all on you. It's the last one. Okay. Okay, the doctor travels to a place where there's a health and safety nightmare. (laughs) (laughs) That could be any episode of Doctor. I love that. Okay. Um I've got I've got an idea in my head. Purely because I'm thinking, oh god, that isn't safe. Yeah. I know which one it is. Go on. If I'm wrong, I'm fuming. Because yeah. I'm not gonna ask for any clues. Okay. I can't remember the name. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Is it the beast below? No. <gasps> but that's a really good one. I've lost it. I've <laughs> lost. I've lost. Okay, we have to think of a forfeit. Okay, can I have a clue? You can have a clue. Okay. The doctor starts talking to himself, literally. Okay, I know it now. Mm-hmm. Again, if I'm wrong. Is that- <laughs> It was that too good of a clue. Yeah. <laughs> Is it Nightmare in Silver? No. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you're getting cancelled. You fraud. <laughs> oh no, I'm not putting this out. Um <laughs> You're getting kicked off type four today. <laughs> okay, I get a three though, right? <laughs> oh, okay. God. 
<clears throat> Fine, okay. Okay. Only about okay. Okay, only okay. 40 episodes to go. Right, okay. This place mm -hmm. has got the best photocopier ever. <laughs> Photocopier. It's definitely a Smith episode. It's a Smith episode. It's a health and safety. It's a health and safety nightmare. The doctor talks to himself literally, and it's got the best photocopier ever. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a two-parter. You can have an extra. But if I get this wrong, <laughs> I'm going to delete my channel. Okay. Um, oh, God, I hope it's right. I can't remember what it's called, though. But I know I can see it. The Rebel Flash. Yes! <laughs> yes, the almost people and the Rebel Flash. And the Rebel yes. Flash. Was that too mean? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it was so funny. Easy, but <laughs> but I was just got it so wrong. Um, that was really good, Sarah. I think I've embarrassed myself enough. <laughs> That's a beautiful place to leave it. <laughs> but while I've got you here, Sarah, where can people find you? Where are people going to be able to connect with you? Tell me. Okay, so you can find me. At type 40, usually on a Thursday or on a Monday. Uh, we're currently been doing some brilliant reviews with Stephen Noonan and Dan Hadley. I love him. We've done. Yes. Um, yes, yeah, so check that. We've just done Father's Day and a deep dive into the Ninth Doctor's era. And there's still a few more to come before the end of the year. And this is all part of type 40's Diamond Celebration. And um, Amazing. yeah, you can find me on Twitter at Starry Eyed Who, and I'm also on Facebook, and you can find me at Sarah Graham. And hopefully, I might be invited back on this channel as well. <laughs> Sarah, you are. I'm actually worried that you won't accept the invite. Okay. That's <laughs> that's a problem I've got. No, um, no, I'd love so to come back on. I'll... Yeah, okay, awesome. I well, love you so much, gonna... Char. <laughs> oh, I love you too. And you didn't see the intro that I did. I did describe you as my type 40 oh, sister, so we're oh, all good. But that's um, But I think that's the point of type 40, isn't it? It's just the genuine family feel yes. that we have. So it's like, yeah, it's definitely dysfunctional going family. Out. Dysfunctional family. Oh, oh dysfunctional at the, the highest degree. But family all the same. Yes. So yeah, it's, uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. And thank you for coming on here getting pissed and having a bit of a laugh <laughs> thank, while we're doing it as well thank you for thinking so, of me for this to test out this idea oh i feel honored straight away <laughs> i thought you straight away there was no two ways about it <laughs> so yeah it's been it's been lovely so thank you so so much and uh yeah well um i'm sure we'll reconvene soon i'll see you on thursday anyway but yeah. we'll reconvene soon we'll see you soon right. bye-bye thank you take care bye-bye